Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Gotcha SEO if you're watching this on my website. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to validate keywords using hrefs. And so it's one thing to be able to find keywords, but it's another thing to understand how to actually validate those keywords so that you understand what keywords you should actually be going after. And this is really important because if you choose the wrong keywords, you could actually end up wasting a ton of time and wasting a ton of capital trying to rank for keywords that your website is not actually capable of ranking for. And so going through this validation process will save you a lot of time and resources that could possibly be wasted. And instead, you can focus on the keywords that are actually going to be possible to rank for. And that is only possible if you validate them. And so Ahrefs is the perfect tool for validating a large set of keywords. So with that said, let's jump right in. All right, so I am inside of Ahrefs, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to validate a keyword idea that you want to go after. So the first thing you have to do is obviously select a keyword phrase that you're interested in ranking for. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Keyword Explorer in the menu in Ahrefs. And so for this example, I'm going to use the keyword phrase, what is creatine, because I want to kind of stay with this health theme. So go ahead and place your keyword in the field and start the search. And then once the analysis is done, you're going to be exposed to all kinds of data. It's going to be able to help you determine whether this keyword is worth going after. And so when you're validating a keyword and you're trying to figure out if it's actually worth putting in the effort to try to rank for a keyword, you're basically going to measure the competitors against your website. And of course, you can use third-party metrics that Ahrefs provides, but we're going to want to go a little bit deeper to make sure that this is a good keyword phrase to go after based on the authority of your website. So I'm going to pretend that we are doing an SEO campaign for greatest.com, and we want to rank for the keyword phrase, what is creatine? And so what we have to do is we have to actually validate this phrase. So the first thing that we're looking at here inside the Keyword Explorer is the keyword difficulty that Ahrefs provides. And this is a pretty useful metric that they provide. And it's all based on the data that they have internally. And it can be pretty accurate. But I do like to do my own manual research to make sure that it's going to be a good idea to go after a particular keyword. So I would take it with a grain of salt. I wouldn't completely disregard it, but you need to do way more research to make sure that you're targeting the right keywords. And then they also have some other interesting data, such as how frequently this particular keyword phrase gets clicks and how many times it does not get clicks when someone searches it. So that's a pretty interesting thing to keep in mind. And then they're also going to show you what percentage of the results for this keyword are paid versus what percentage is organic results. And the reason why that's important is because if there are a lot of paid ads, it's going to push those organic results down the page and it's going to reduce the click-through rate on the organic results if there are a lot of paid results. So around 3% for this keyword phrase is not too bad. That's pretty average. And then they also show you the total search volume for this particular keyword phrase and also what countries search for this keyword phrase the most. So this can be useful to make sure that you're targeting the right audience. And then as I mentioned before in a previous video about keyword research, you should take note of these keyword ideas that Ahrefs provides you because then you can go after these keywords either in the same piece of content or if it's a totally different topic, you can create a new piece of content for it if your website is actually capable of ranking for that keyword phrase. So now let me show you how to validate a keyword idea. So go down to the bottom and you want to look under the SERP overview section. So this is a really amazing feature that Ahrefs provides because you're going to be able to get a 30,000 foot view of the competition for this particular keyword phrase. So you can look at all of this data just as is and you can make some decisions based on this. But one thing I like to do is I like to export the data because I like to pull averages for these competitors that are ranking. Go ahead and click the export button in the right hand corner and then I'm going to show you how I would go about determining whether this is a good keyword to go after or not. So now that this Excel file is opened up, 
What I want to do is I want to average the most important metrics and ranking factors to determine whether this is a good keyword to go after. And basically what I'm doing is I'm going to average these out and then I'm going to compare them against my target website or the website that I'm doing an SEO campaign for. In this case, I deleted all the unnecessary columns and I only left a few important columns. The first column I left is backlinks. So it's going to be the total number of backlinks that are going to these specific pages. Then I also left referring domains. And so this is going to be the total unique amount of websites or domains that are linking to this pages. And so this is a very important ranking factor. And that's why you need to keep this column. And then also I left the URL rating. I left domain rating. And then I also left the Facebook signals because Facebook is the biggest social network. So it's really important to see how much engagement they're getting on social with these specific pages, because that's going to be something that you're going to want to have to replicate if you want to go after this keyword. So in this case, I average out the backlinks. The average amount of backlinks going to these pages is 123 backlinks. Then I averaged out the referring domains. The average linking root domains going to these pages is about 54. And then the average URL rating is about 25. And then the average domain rating is about 71. And lastly, the average Facebook signals are about 65. And so when I'm comparing these results against my target website, Greatest, the only thing that I really care about and the only thing you can really compare is going to be the domain rating because you can't compare backlinks, you can't compare referring domains, and you can't compare URL rating, and you can't even compare Facebook signals because I'm going to assume that your target website does not already have a page targeting that keyword phrase. So in this case, Greatest does not have a page targeting what is creating, and if they do, they're not ranking well for it because they're not in the top 10. So Greatest has a domain rating of 67. So comparing that to all the results, they're definitely capable of ranking for this particular keyword phrase because they have a ton of authority and it's comparable to the results. And so if I'm looking at these top 10 results, there are a few things that jump out right away. The first is that there are two YouTube videos ranking. And so that's traditionally a good sign that YouTube videos are ranking because those are usually only ranking because of the authority of YouTube. So it's pretty easy to push YouTube videos off the first page if you create a really incredible content asset. The second thing that I've noticed is that this website, blonix.com, only has one linking root domain going to that page. So that's an indication that you can acquire more backlinks to your page and you'd be able to outrank this lower authority website. Not only do they have a low amount of referring domains, but they also have a low domain rating. So when you look at all these results, they are the weakest page ranking. That is a really good sign because they're ranking really well. They're ranking around the five spot. And if you had a website like Greatest that is way stronger, way more authoritative, way more trustworthy, you would definitely be excited because you would not only be able to push that page off or at least push it down on the first page, but you'd be able to get above those YouTube videos. So that would mean that your ranking potential would be probably around the top five. And then the third thing that you'll notice is that myprotein.com has no referring domains. And so they are ranking purely based on the authority of their website. And I'm actually really surprised that they're ranking at all because they don't have any Facebook signals, they don't have any backlinks, and their overall domain rating isn't super high. It is definitely strong, but it's not super high. So I'm actually really surprised that they're ranking in the number two spot. To take this a step further, you would want to go URL by URL and examine those pages and then figure out a way to differentiate your content from all of the competitors. So what I just showed you is the first stage of the validation process. You're just basically measuring your site against the competitors and trying to find weaknesses in the top 10 results. And once your website or this analysis has passed this initial test, then it's time to go into a deeper analysis to determine whether this is a good keyword to go after and if you can create a page that is better than what is currently ranking. And then the last thing that I want to show you is how you can validate keywords very quickly if you are analyzing a competitor. Let's assume that Greatest is our competitor. What you would do is just go back to Hrefs and go to the Site Explorer, put their URL into the search bar and run the analysis. And as I showed you in the keyword research video, go to the organic keywords. And then once you're in there, if you identify a keyword phrase that you want to go after, what you can do is you can simply just click the SERP dropdown here on the right-hand side. 
And Ahrefs is going to show you the same data that you saw inside the Keyword Explorer. You're going to see the domain rating. You're going to see the URL rating. You're going to see the total amount of backlinks. You're going to see the total amount of referring domains. And you'll even see the total amount of Facebook signals. You can do a very quick analysis here to see if a particular keyword phrase passes this first test. And if it does, then you want to go into that deeper analysis and try to figure out how you're going to differentiate your content and how you're going to create a better page than these competitors. So that is all you need to know for understanding how to validate your keywords using Ahrefs. This is a very powerful tool and it is really going to help you decide what keywords to go after so that you can pretty much guarantee your success when targeting certain keywords. And so if you like this video and you got a lot of value out of it, please give this video a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.